Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. And we want to thank our newest patrons. Yes, we want to say a huge thank you to John and JC. We really appreciate it. Couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you. Absolutely. There'll be a new Patreon-only video coming up shortly. But there's still so much stuff to go over right here. As you see, the Biden administration admits flying 320,000 migrants secretly into the U.S. to reduce, they say, the number of crossings at the border. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, when you look at who's tweeting this, Elon Musk, right? This administration is both importing voters and creating a national security threat from unvetted illegal immigrants. It's highly probable that the groundwork is being laid for something far worse than 9-11. Just a matter of time. So, again, when you're getting that from Elon, you're getting that from the system. And, and really, uh, one of the people at the highest levels of the system in reality. He is. He, he's, I mean, he's been invited to special meetings. <laughs> he, Elon's been invited to special tea parties where they exchange information that most people wouldn't be privy to. So sometimes uh, it's someone's job to take this information and put it out there in a way that doesn't confirm yet doesn't deny yet gives people an idea of what's really going on and that's what i think his job is here builds an expectancy and and controls narrative think in terms of see i told you so yes. and then people will be like well we really should listen to elon more shouldn't we now and that's exactly what they want you to to, to do you know again here's another one woke jeopardy ideas Difficult questions that require, require context for 400, Alex. Is it better to A, cleanse the earth in nuclear fire, or B, vote Republican? Okay. You know, again, this is a part of that programming and, and seeing where we're going with this, as Cindy was picking up, that they are uh, trending the nuclear word again. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Meanwhile... Jeff Bezos overtakes Elon Musk to become the richest man in the world. He's got a little Vin Diesel going there, doesn't he? I mean, he looks a little different. Maybe it's just that smile. I, I don't know. Maybe he had some work done, or maybe this is uh, actor, clone, whatever you want to you know, believe in. Number three or two, you know, I, I don't know how many Bezos there are, but I bet you there's more than one because he's... Again, one of those uh, bigger players. One of those, indeed. Yeah, and you don't get to be a billionaire without being part of the system. I mean, these things should be just so self-evident. You don't get invited to the club at that level unless you agree to certain things. It's just amazing uh, how some still don't see it, but most of you guys do. I mean, I know I'm, I'm preaching to the choir here. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you just, it, it's obvious whenever somebody steps on stage, you know, no matter what they say, no matter how good they sound, they're not here to help any of us out. And just, just in, speaking of uh, nuclear, Russia and China considering delivering and installing nuclear power units on the moon's surface by 2033. 33, of course, is always a key uh, year. Hmm, I wonder what the power structure will look like then. Not, you don't need too many guesses. Here you also have another tweet just saying, uh, the director of the Institute of International Strategic Studies writes for the second time today that everything suggests that it's better to dismel, dispel, dismel, dispel the myth of Russia's indecision now and not later when this will require nuclear strikes you know and he has been on record as well as number two medvedev who does number two work for indeed who does he work for uh that they would i mean they've been in front of big maps addressing the entire country saying you know hey if we gotta go nuclear we'll go nuclear 
Now, we're thankful that we've gotten that they won't be allowed to. And for those that have researched uh, UFO and alien interference in the nuclear programs and have seen that they've been shut down by higher uh, technology from above, you know, thankfully, I, I do not believe we're going to have a nuclear Armageddon. Now, that doesn't mean that we won't have some other technology that they'll tell us was nuclear. No, I do think that they probably will say that we've had some sort of limited nuclear exchange. I think that's part of their plan. Uh, and I think that Lebanon, Beirut blast, I think that was a test. Uh, I'm so convinced that was a test. And so, you know, if they plan on launching a hundred or a thousand of those, uh, at certain cities and then saying we've had a limited uh, nuclear exchange and it might take us three months to figure that out or, or you know, who knows? It might be a, a week, three weeks. It might be three months. It won't be three years. Um, but just the confusion for a while of wondering what happened uh, I do think that's part of uh, their plan because there, when there's mass confusion and when the grid goes down uh, in, in certain areas, they have the opportunity to go ahead and put in new technologies and to do things very quickly behind the scenes. Uh, yeah, nuclear energy makes no sense. No, I mean, you know, again, this is the system. The system doesn't make any sense. Uh, not from a real standpoint, but I mean, it, not like if we're looking logically at what's good for humanity and the planet. And also Amazon plans a massive 960, uh, is that a megawatt? Uh, MW nuclear power data center. All this nuclear stuff breaking. Um, curious. It is certainly curious. Well, it is. You know, I mean, what it, what is the purpose for it it's definitely not going to help clear our skies or clean our water um that thing that they've been really all been preaching about and you know talking about how dirty all these little humans are we are down here we're just making a huge mess and they have to have these things going on so i i think um one of their one of their better uh, assets i don't know if that's the right word but one of the things that they do really good is they definitely are contradictory with their information do as i say not as i do um that seems to be their motto yeah and i wasn't intending on this being long at all um but i just want to touch on this um because i just feel this is ringing in my ears like somebody wants me to mention Mohenjo Daro uh, and Harappa, the Harappan culture, this is over in what was Greater um, Bharat uh, uh, or Greater Older India. A long time ago, there was a horrible mass massacre there, as you see them sifting through bones. And these people were killed from above, um, were where they became aware of what was happening. That's where they died. They just kind of looked up and they're gone. And this was a real, um, truly civilized uh, culture. These were peaceful people. Um, in fact, it, it, this is an area in which there was no kingship. There was no political structure like we have now. And there wasn't even really uh, weapons stores and, and, and massive armaments, you know, that were situated to defend the people. This was... Really, what this was, was leftover remnants of higher culture that was living peacefully uh, amongst uh, other people out there. And there was such a slaughter. And, and, and you know, again, many are, are just found holding hands here. And some have, have theorized that there was some sort of some sort of disaster of a very, very um, technically advanced kind. And, you know, again, we've also talked about um, Oppenheimer making that statement, you know, oh, wow, the world's first atomic blast. Well, first atomic blast in modern times. In modern times. 
Again, you would be amazed, and I really plan on doing a whole bunch of short videos uh, for those people um, that are don't have the time or, or won't go into uh, a, a f an hour long, you know, excursion into ancient India. Um, we'll do little 30 to 60 second ones touching on some of these topics because I don't think there's anything more clear and fascinating than what we get from this area. Nuclear war, yeah, absolutely. Many people have talked about this, yes. And, and th this is kind of what we've seen, and I do think it also happened in many places. There's leftover radioactive material, there's nuclear... Um, fused glasses uh, in multiple locations around the world. Uh, there's massive blast sites buried underneath oceans. Yeah, we, we've had just incredible wars in the skies over our heads. And, you know, this is the time period that we're kind of heading into again, where there could be direct conflict over our heads, not just humans, not just humans. No, no, absolutely not just humans. I mean, that's something that I do believe very strongly we're going to see in our lifetime, and I don't think it's too far off. And the kicker is, is I think they're going to play it out for as long as possible. Right now, we have Starlink out there, so we have Starlink to blame on a lot of things. I do believe that there is something like, um, as far as explaining what is out there is due in 2025 i really feel that that's what this treaty this galactic treaty is about it's like okay you need to tell the humans it needs to be open and in public and not hidden not deceitful not a lie not underhanded not double speak you need to tell them that they're not alone and so everyone in the mainstream will know exactly what's going on and that they're not alone and what that's going to do is going to cause such a oh my gosh it's going to cause such a ripple of awareness so everyone out there who has been feeling alone in their journey and just feeling like you can't talk to anyone i think the doors are the flood doors are going to open sometime in 2025 at that point and people are going to have a lot of questions and i'll tell you what you're going to have a lot of answers so don't be frustrated just hold your light that's that's what you're being called to do right now if you're not able to speak out to friends or family appreciate your loved ones for where they're at in their life that's really all we can do if they don't want to hear anything yet we want a relationship so appreciate them for that save these discussions for like online platforms or different social media and you can kind of get some outlet there journal if you have to um but uh, I do believe those floodgates are going to come open soon. Yeah, and speaking of flood here, it, we we're talking about Philippines and China butting heads over some of these areas. And here you have uh, the windshield of a Philippine boat shattering as the Chinese Coast Guard uh, fires water cannon <laughs> at it. Uh, there's heightened tensions in the Korean Peninsula as well. Again, I think uh, Taiwan is Taiwan, North Korea, again, the Philippines and China. All these things will kick off after they have to take out the U.S. first. Uh, the U.S. Is, is the only country that's uh, really standing in their way. So the U.S. is the number one target, not these other locations. Those will fall. Those are just dominoes that will fall after the U.S. falls. This is what is really planned russia is a, is the largest country in in landmass and in some natural resources on the planet uh but what they don't have really is a, a high population density at all china has the population density and you also have them modernizing north korea and iran and utilizing them for their in industry and and they're creating they're upgrading this industry as you see right here this is a factory for iranian shahad or shahed drones each one of these is capable of destroying an entire apartment building full of sleeping families yeah and right now, you know, are they heading to Ukraine <clears throat> or are they going to head somewhere else is the question. 
This is scary. This when I look at this, this feels like, gosh, where's that music going? Dum 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 dum. dum. It's that Darth Vader type of music and energy that you see here. This they've been building uh, the clone army the entire time. Here we've been you know fixated on other things, and you don't realize that there's this massive, massive military that's been built while most people have been sleeping in the West. And, and again, Ukraine could have been conquered right away. They, this is all about just, again, draining the resources. Drain the resources. Wait for the timing. The timing, if you want to know the timing, look to the astrological events. That's the timing. That is the timing. That's what they always look to and utilize. This is a Russian black uh, sea fleet ship uh, being hit by three drones. So, yeah, what they want to do right now is they want the chaos. They want the chaos. And here you have uh, fireworks. And somebody had said there was also a vaping uh, warehouse with this fireworks uh, explosion <laughs> that happened up in Michigan. This is insane. Uh, think about this. Now, you might look at it and laugh, but the reality is this was sending projectiles all over the place, even miles away, and, and somebody did lose their lives. The cause of the explosion has not been determined yet, but it, there could be so many uh, different possibilities because there's tens of millions of people in the country that we don't know you know who they are we we do know absolutely there are russian and chinese military components in the u.s and again you know the BRICS nations they're just being used like the u.s was used before them and it, it's just the system it's just the system it, this is what's going on as the police department was saying, they can't stress enough. Uh, stay indoors because these are this is massive and it's sending projectiles. Again, this is in Michigan. And we had another plane come down alongside a highway. This is in Nashville. And five people lost their lives in this crash. I don't know. There's just been a lot of plane crashes uh, the last several years a lot of small plane crashes a lot of sudden events mm -hmm. we do pray for everybody and send positive intents out there do you pick up anything on that one um no i don't pick up anything i mean particular at the moment but uh i i did want to mention that we do talk to quite a few people and when we when we look at the news we always have to have that critical thinking lens on you know as far as where is it coming from is it just out there to cause fear is it something that we really need to to watch out for and some of the folks that we talk to that are on the ground that we trust very very much are giving us this information that yeah there are some really strange looking people out there that look like they're coming here they're being set up um, to have uh, certain things like uh, their own vehicle like you know given money to go get new clothes new pillows new blankets it's obvious that they're here to um, get started on something and there has been several reports of that so I, I don't think that this is anything where the news is trying to scare us I think it's very real that um, a lot of these migrants are coming out and um, creating problems uh, just because of what we see feet on the ground you know people that we know and we trust are telling us things <clears throat> yeah, and we have regular contact with so many different people. Uh, again, we do, besides Vedic astrology that Cindy does, we, we do all sorts of spiritual coaching and energy work and different consultations with dozens of people every single week all over the globe. So we get different perspectives on what's going on and firsthand uh, <clears throat> first-hand viewpoints from, from many different people. And yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's not just right on the border that people are noticing suspicious things. Right. It's, it's everywhere. It really is everywhere at this point in time. 
And and here you have a Russian media report of an explosion oil depot in uh, Belgorod region of Russia. The sabotage, the uh, whatever you want to call it, it, it's going on in all countries because, again, it's against humanity. It's against humanity. And this is Greg Abbott, and he's talking about the fires, and let's let him use his own words here. And, and what Cindy picks up on is he has to, he's trying to get us to understand the technology, literally. And that's part of his purpose at this point in time. Frequently when you see the aftermath of that damage, there's a, some semblance of a structure that is still there. When you look at the damages that have occurred here, it's just gone. Completely gone. So, you know, again, the realization of the technology that's being used, why would they, you know, purposely, because again, he does, and I know I'm saying again so much because it is a redundancy. We're living in a Groundhog's Day here. This is Groundhog's Day over and over and over. They want us upset. <clears throat> they want us angry. They want us hateful and vengeful. They want to provoke us into absolute chaos because you know they want that situation. We did a video talking about that uh, horrible series of movies, The Purge. That's the type of conditions that they want to see. Just out and out insanity. I mean, you have Macron here saying we are certainly approaching a moment in our Europe where it will be appropriate to not be cowardly. War has returned to our soil. The way he's saying that, it's like it's World War II all over again. This is what they are to sell. This is what they are to sell. In case you can't see, there he is right there. You know, this is their club. This is part of their satanic club. And they're making their little pyramid symbol or whatever it is they're doing. They're 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 pointing to their their controlling draconian influences up in the sky or in in that lower fourth astral realm. They know what they're doing. Yes, they they have kind of sold their souls uh, for the greed, the influence, having their smiling mugs plastered everywhere. Yes, these are tyrants, but they're also just tiny little worthless puppets. Mm -hmm. Well, they're they're smiling because they feel like they've really gotten away with something. They they've been convinced that what they're doing is the best thing. And when we're dealing with the nature of duality, we have choices. You know, you choose the light, you choose the dark. You can choose something a little bit in between. These guys are choosing the dark side of the duality, and while they're making their little um, sim symbols here. These symbols are tied to another ritual that we did not see. So this is like fulfillment of that ritual saying, yes, I was tied to that. I did it. This is this is what I have done for you. Oh, Lord, oh, God, you know, their Lord, their God that I don't know. Some probably know what they're praying to and some might not. Ultimately, it's AI. It, uh, but, you know, again, there's a lot of other levels to this that scaly draconian energy where that that quote-unquote comet is coming from the constellation of of draco heading this way so yeah this shows you uh their intent oh oh these guys are cute <laughs> oh that's cold oh that's not a good idea <laughs> Kitties are just cute. If you're having a bad day, look up funny puppy and funny kitten videos. Give yourself a laugh. It really does change your energy. It changes your frequency. It brings you out of that yucky place because we're faced with a lot of yuckiness in this world today. And, you know, if you're called to deal with it in some way, shape or form, it's no fun. And you definitely have to give yourself a break every now and then. And this really, truly is one of the better ways. And, and my children taught me this. Take a break by watching funny puppies and funny kittens. And, and it works. It just works. Yeah, you have to realize that they utilize war as a blood sacrifice. It truly is a, a blood sacrifice that they offer up because they or orchestrate the wars 
and then they offer up the suffering of humanity to their power structure. So, you know, it's something we all need to recognize and get in contact with that lighter side of things, which can be accessed uh, through our, our lovely pets. Indeed. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.